الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ مینشنز فی کتاب الکریم دیٹ ہی کریٹڈ اس ان نیشنز ان ٹرائبس ان اوڈر دیٹ وی ووڈ نو ون این ادر سو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ کریٹڈ اس With, of course, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْتِ لَلِي عَبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Our purpose, divine purpose, is to worship him and him alone. And that he also created us differently. Although we all go back to, we're all the children of Adam. عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ But he created us in, in different colors and shapes. And and in different tribes. And he said, in order to know one another. So, if we realize that we have been created in different tribes, as different peoples, to know one another, not to despise one another, then we will have attained a great success. And if we realize and we practice, then we will know where our shortcomings and faults are with regards to racism, tribalism, and hatred for one, for one another, and our superiority complex that we're plagued with. Will no one understand that? And we'll begin to move forward? And we'll be able to, or we'll have the tools to move forward. Will we? Allah knows best. I don't think ever that racism is going to end. But I do believe there will always be, as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, there will always be, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَا تَزَلْ مِنْ أُمَّتِي ظَاهِرِينَ عَلَى الْحَقِّ There won't cease to be a group from my nation that is on the truth. And that is Ahl al-Sunnah. And as uh, a lot of the A'imma said, it's Ahl al-Hadith uh, and, and otherwise. So, with that being the case, those people who are really, really firm on the qawa'id of Ahl al-Sunnah, the principles of Ahl al-Sunnah, the principles of the deen, they are the ones who will be successful in dealing with the ailment and sickness of tribalism and racism in its various forms and prejudice. And that comes from those people not just being as a collective group, but it means that as individuals practicing, so everyone's going to have a different level. Someone could be from Ahl al-Sunnah and they have some racist traits. Or they have some prejudice. So this is a, a weakness in their iman. This is a weakness in their iman. And it just depends on how much, to what level. Are they just a little prejudice? Do they have hatred? Do they really believe their superiority? Do they, uh, superior? Do they say, I'm Pakistani, I'm much better than African American? Do they think that they are white and they're much better than everyone else? Uh, do they, and, and, they, and it goes to the extent of uh, a type of worship of their, their, their color, or their race, or their, their nationality. All those things make a difference as far as the hukum, as far as an individual. And the question was posed, someone asked, am I aware of the racism currently under the, what's going on? And then the racism that's between, in, in America, the rise in, in racism, the zuhur or that it's coming out and with regards to the racism on the rise between immigrant communities and indigenous, especially African Americans uh, in America. So, and we, and we see this in the UK, we see it all over. Taib. Uh, yes, I am aware. And as far as it being a rise, I don't know. But what I would say, because, and this is, unfortunately for many of the youth, it wasn't Islam that made them kind of lose some of their racial constraints. But unfortunately, it's a universal hip-hop culture, I would say, that has really caused 
people to see by adopting and embracing this overall culture, they began to break down some of the barriers and see themselves as united based upon based upon that. SubhanAllah. I don't know what just killed this squirrel and I'm sorry if you're, uh, but this is so fresh. Something, maybe an eagle or something, a hawk. Oh, he's still alive, wow. Sorry, mister. Oh, poor guy. Uh, something killed this. And maybe I should shoot him or something to make sure he's dead. Well, long as I put him out of his misery. I don't want to make a gunshot up here. But something killed him and dropped him. Probably a hawk or something, but I don't know. Well, long as so the point being a habit is people are on different levels of their racism and different levels of hatred. And we have to, as a Muslim community, realize and deal with those barriers and break down those barriers. People have found other ways, unfortunately, outside of Islam, where they begin to break down some of those barriers because they begin to ad adopt a unified identity. The Muslim should have the unified identity as a Muslim. He should see his Somali brother. He should see his African-American brother. He should see his, his Ethiopian brother. He should see his uh, Moroccan sister. He should see his, his Saudi sister as brothers and sisters in Islam. But we don't do that first and foremost. We first go back to our home. And if I told you about all the racial experiences I've seen in places like Saudi Arabia, the, the place of Tawheed, and in my travels in different places, you know, you would be disgusted by the way some of the people speak about other peoples. And what's amazing, Benny Adam is so arrogant, the children of Adam are so arrogant that they will be racist towards one people, but they go to another place, and at that, in that place, people view them at the bottom of the barrel. So we have some of our brothers and sisters from Pakistan and, and elsewhere who may have immense prejudice against African Americans in America. But when they go to Saudi Arabia, the Saudis see them as something less, sometimes less than human. Being Bengali, being this, being that. So it shows us that none of us have a right towards this uh, with this racism. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our goal. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.